Hi everyone, today for English we are going to be preparing to write our plan, which sounds interesting because normally we plan to prepare what we're going to write, but we're actually going to do a little bit of research and a little bit of vocabulary, um, unpicking of vocabulary, so that we are really in understanding of what we are going to be writing about. So today you will make the choice of what you will write about for your extended piece of writing that we will start this week. So you will recognize this website that we're going to use today because we did use it last week. The original key model text is on ancient Greece. Now you are going to have the choice because it's going to be a very similar style of writing, but you are going to choose what you do it about. I think it will make it easier not to do it about ancient Greece because otherwise you run the risk of having to copy a lot from the original text. So it might be best to choose a different place, but the option is up to you. So basically what we're going to do today is you're firstly going to make a decision out of the uh, countries we've got up here. And then once you've done that, what you will do is you will basically research and read up on it. And then when you've done that, you will need to jot down any words that you aren't really understanding what they are, because you're going to end up using those words and rewording the sentences for your piece of writing. And without understanding the technical vocabulary, it's going to be difficult for you to rewrite it and change the ordering of your sentences so that it becomes your own. So it's all about understanding the vocabulary that you are put in front of today so that when you come to magpie that vocabulary from this website, you were able to use it, but reword the sentence in a different way so that it's your own, but it still makes sense. Okay, so if I were to click on Egypt, let's say I was going to write about Egypt, it brings lots of different things up. So I'll just give that a minute to load. So you come here with a, a front page. It tells you a little bit about understanding ancient Egypt, what, it, what happened in these times. And then if you scroll down, you've got like an overview. And each part of this tells you a little sentence or two about these different periods of time. And of course, you can see that there's a read more section. So the aim of your task today is to really read in detail upon the place that you have chosen to write about. So you will make a choice. You might want to read a little bit about each and see which one you find more interesting before you set yourself on a specific one. Once you've decided the specific one that you want to do, you are going to need to research every word that you do not understand. Okay. And normally we use a range of strategies for that. Today, we're going to simply use a dictionary because we know that this list might become very extensive and we don't want to waste any time. So it becomes a really simple way and a quick way of researching lots of words at once. So I can see a word already that is going to be tricky to understand. So I can highlight it or I can type it into my dictionary. So pre-dynastic, or you can even hear it if you don't know how to say it. So it's an adjective of relating to or belonging to a time period, time or period before the first dynasty of a nation, especially the period in Egypt before C3200 BC, okay, before Christ. So that tells you about it, okay? So then what you would do is in your yellow book, you would write this word and you would write the definition. Because then if you come to use it in your writing, you don't even necessarily need to remember, hopefully you will remember, but you can just visit your yellow book and you can be like, ah, oh, I know what that word is now, so I can use it in my writing. And what we're basically doing here today is building a bank of vocabulary, technical vocabulary that we can include in our writing. So we'd start doing that by just getting a list of definitions. OK, so that we can be referring to that during the time that we're still learning them and learning what they mean. So that's what you need to do today. Visit the website, pick the country or area that you would like to write about. 
research all of the words within that so you will need to click into it as well and read up read so it's a lot of reading today but you are looking for the words that you don't know the meaning of so you would go all the way through this highlighting any words and copying and pasting them into the online dictionary finding out the meanings writing the definitions in your yellow book or i'll put a document on the google classroom if you would prefer to type the definitions that's fine but these are the words that we are going to be looking to use. So you will need to get those definitions written down today. And that will help us when we start to plan our writing tomorrow. <laughs>